Good afternoon, everyone. Go back and look at our bone broth recipe. Um, it took us four days to make our bone broth and get it done. And now we're gonna show you how to can it for long-term storage. Back in my previous video, you may have seen me skim the fat off the top. So now we are gonna heat up our bone broth and get it ready to put into our sterilized jars so that we can can it. Okay, we've got our bone broth heated up and now we're ready to start putting in our jars. We are using sterilized jars. We're not sure how many we're going to get out of this, so this will be interesting to see. Now you want to leave a one inch head space, but we're going to stop right there and go on to our next jar. Okay, we have our lids heated up. You do not want the water boiling, but you do want it hot. You want to be sure and wipe off the rims. I've got a little bit of apple cider vinegar on my towel to sterilize the rims. I also put a little splash of apple cider vinegar in my... Uh, pressure cooker water to keep the jars from clouding up. Now we are using quart jars, you can use pint. Be sure and can whatever size that you think that you will want to use. Whether it's for your soups or for to drink or um, gravies. This made us three quarts. Okay, we have our three quart jars in our pressure cooker and we are gonna put the lid on and we are gonna to start to cooking. We have the pressure cooker all loaded up. Now, we're gonna wait until this starts steaming and you want this to steam for 10 minutes and then we'll put the weight on. 10 minutes have passed, it's time to place the weight on. Okay, now we gotta wait for this baby to get up to 11 pounds and then we will set the timer to cook for 25 minutes. She's cranking on up there. And I know for some of you folks, this is uh, pretty scary doing some pressure cooking. But as long as you uh, pay attention to the instructions, the instruction manual of your pressure cooker and follow directions, do your little homework, then uh, you'll be just fine. We're going to get this up to 11 pounds. And uh, as soon as it gets up to 11 pounds, I'm going to turn down my heat and try to maintain the 11 pounds of pressure for 25 minutes. We are just about there. So now I'm going to turn down the heat. I kicked it down to six, and we'll see how that goes. Um, I have found that between four and five actually will maintain the pressure that I need. But let's watch it and see. I've been watching it for about five minutes, and it's staying pretty steady on uh, the number five, the medium heat. And so we've got about uh, 20 more minutes to go. Stay tuned, and we'll show you the finished product. Time is up. This is one of the most important parts of pressure canning. All we're going to do is just turn off the heat, we're not going to touch it, and we're going to let it sit here until the steam uh, quits coming out and the pressure dial goes all the way down to zero. It's very important that you do not try to expedite this process. So, we've got the heat turned off, it, you can see, stayed pretty steady at 11 pounds, and we're going to let her sit. It's probably going to take 30 or 40 minutes for this baby to die down. I want you to notice something here. The dial is down to zero, but this valve still is showing that there's still steam in the pot. We need to wait and make sure uh, that we do, do not remove the top until that valve does release and pop down. Things have settled down now. We're going to open her up and check it out. So now we're taking off the lid, and when you go to take off the lid, be sure and hold it at an angle so that all the steam and all the water from the top will run off. It has been quite hot on me before, and I learned my lesson the hard way. We're gonna take them out now. Man, oh man, oh man. Here is our homemade bone broth. We did use beef bones for this. Again, this is a very, very healthy drink. You can uh, drink it by itself with a little bit of salt and pepper or add some herbs to it. It is very good for your stomach. It is very good for uh, fighting viruses. It's also very good for your joints and arthritis. A lot of people are drinking this now. Or you can use it for a broth for your soups and stews or even your brown gravies. We hope that you enjoyed this video. We do appreciate you guys. If you do like this video, please click the like button and share with your friends. And subscribe to our channel. We do have a lot more tips coming up. Take care, God bless, and have a great evening.